Hi, I'm Hillary. Welcome to Primary Planet. Today I'm going to show you um, a walkthrough of everything that you will find in my digital reading and writing conference notebook. Um, I do have the iPad iPad 7th Gen um, as my iPad. Um, I'm using a first gen Apple Pencil and I do have a case and um, a case on my iPad, and I will link those below if you're interested in checking those out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open my GoodNotes. My conferring notebook is right here, so I'm going to click there to open it. All right, you do need to be in presentation mode in order to um, use the links that are included. So I'm going to, um, here's all the links at the top. It does include um, reading labels, reading sticky notes. These are to help you to focus your conferences. Um, writing labels, writing sticky notes, again, um, here's the schedule and here is the small group tab. All of these tabs are on the side are for your students. Um, so um, I number my students. Um, I do have a second page, which does go up to 32. Um, if you ever get lost, just go home. Um, I also have included a reading conference tracker and a writing conference tracker so you can keep track of who you've conferenced with and who still needs to be conferenced with. So I'm just going to walk you through all of these um, so just so you can see what's inside. So if you click on reading labels, it will take you to the reading labels. Um, these are already pre-cropped for you. So all you're going to have to do is to copy and paste them in order to use them. Um, they're pretty generic. There is one for small group notes. And then this one is blank. If you want to use a blank one, go home. These are the sticky notes. Exactly the same thing, just on sticky notes instead of on white. If you like to have that extra color, the writing labels. Writing sticky notes, your schedule. So this is for your um, reading conferences, for individual conferences, and for small groups. Um, again, here's for your writing, individual, and small group conferences. This will take you to the small groups page. This is where you can um, organize your students into small groups. Um, here's for reading and for writing. And then I also have a planning page that's blank. So here's how you can you can um, plan your small groups. Um, you'll circle whether it's a reading one or a writing one. Um, this will take you to the label page if you want to use labels, um, sticky notes. This will take you back to the small group page and that will take you home. I also have this page in grid format. So if you like to have the grid underneath just to help improve your handwriting. It's there as well. You can always make copies of that. And I'm going to show you how to do some of that stuff in another video. All right, I'm going to go home. All right. So then each kiddo in your class, I always number mine. So if you click on number one, you will conference with number one. Um, each conferencing page does have a place for assessments, um, a place for their reading goals. Um, we do M class where I teach. So we do have a beginning of the year, middle of the year and end of year um, assessments. And so I do like to take separate notes on those. Then I have some space for writing here, or this is where you can stick your labels or your sticky notes. Here is the second page. So you have more space to write. Um, I do also have blank ones at the end so if you need to add more in or i do have grid if you want to add in um, a grid paper if you click on the pencil this will take you to your writing uh, notebook pages where you can keep track of your writing conferences with your students um, you can also go to sticky notes or labels there all right this is your reading conference tracker this is where you can keep track of um, when you met with your students for reading conferences I have the same thing for writing conferences. Keep track of where, who you met with and when you met with them. All right, on page two, I do have some more students. And then here's your blank reading page. Okay, go back home. Um, if you would prefer, I do, oh, there's your blank writing page. Okay, and then I have it in grid form two. So when you click on this page, if you scroll this way, there's the um, grid page. Same thing for reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon.